Hello my beautiful friends, I hope you are well and good. I'm super happy and smiling so much because I'm looking through the window and I can see a green van which is a postman. I'm waiting all morning for the post to come. He's gonna deliver my author copies of the Amazon books. I'm so excited, it's gonna be the very first time I'm gonna see them. Such a grateful feeling. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what's inside, we're gonna open it together. See the green van there? <laughs> That's my post. Do, do, do. Hey, Lucas is laughing. He goes, just why don't you go outside? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm in the corridor, so I will be, I will be stalking him here. No, we will actually see through this that there is a green van. <laughs> Am I really, like, really silly? Is it really bad? But I'm so excited. Like, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I, and honestly, there was just never time. And eventually, I was like. This is it, Marta. Like, let's just do it. Let's just do it. You can't find what you're looking for. Just make it. Make it finally. Where is it? Where's the green light? No. <laughs> I'm not on my own. Look. <laughs> he's actually he's in the corridor with me. <laughs> but I don't know if he's waiting for books or for something else. What's up? Hi. Are you excited? <laughs> he says no. See the green, the green van there. Come on, come on, postman. I'm so excited. He's coming. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh no way! Thank you. Hello, hello back my beautiful friends. Uh, this is the moment where all of us are gonna see the books for the very first time. Obviously I made them, I created them, I've looked at them hundred times over and over, but on the computer it's different than when you have it in the paper version in your hand. So let's just not wait any longer, let's just open it up. Um, I have to say the waiting time was just unbelievable <laughs> too long far too long oh mm. <laughs> there. I have outer copies uh, and I have two of each book no way <gasps> oh my daisies oh I don't know if you can hear, but Lucas came in to see them. Oh, so pretty <laughs> they are so pretty oh my gosh they are so much nicer than I thought <sighs> paint on the tissue <laughs> they are so much nicer oh my I love them already <laughs> Lucas asking for the for the copy to have a look oh Whew. that's uh, that's wow okay printed in the UK I thought they may be printed in in um, I knew it's gonna be printed my version in 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 Europe, but I didn't think it's UK. I thought it's gonna be Italy actually, but I don't know where to start Ginny Mac. <laughs> oh. oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> I don't know where to start. Well we have four books, my friends. Let me show you them. The four gorgeous books. I love them so much. I love them so much. No matter what's inside. <laughs> 
<laughs> inside them. If you're wondering uh, with the technical uh, side of the books, we have three books that are the same size and the um, this fourth book, uh, the Vintage Chronicles, is a bigger size because there is more pages. Now, uh, all of the books are matte inside, one side print only and a matte cover as well. What I love about uh, those books is that when you see them, you don't worry about the glare of the lights and yeah... I so love them. I so love them. I wonder if it's sharp enough. I hope it is. I think it's just time to see what's inside. Um, let's start with the flowers one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I think <laughs> I just... Uh, yeah, I didn't think... I didn't know how I'm going to react. I didn't think what to expect. But I was just thinking that would be so amazing to actually see them together. My reaction for the first time together. And I... I <laughs> And I like that idea. I think it's um, it's the real feeling of how it is when you work on something hard and you're passionate about it, and you like putting so much of your heart, soul, thought through into it. And there you go. So we have a few words from me. We have some quotes, and there we go. And we have the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous flowers. Wow, to see them in person is another level. And the sizing as well. Wow, it's so weird to talk about your very own book. <laughs> it is so different. Wow. Oh, wow. We, I think Lucas is looking for mistakes <laughs> in the print. I can't believe it. How gorgeous. There is a lot of to choose from, a lot of sizes, big and small, you name it. I love the colors, I love how pastel, delicate it feels. And I also hope you will feel that all of those books are um, for it to be capable with each other, ca not, not capable, and that they like you can really mix and match between the books. I think I need a tissue actually <laughs> with all the tears. Oh, I love my anemone, my favorites. Oh, I love them. They're here as well. Oh, this is so pretty. Like, this is so gorgeous. And I'm so proud of it. I really try to make sure that every page will be like, wow. I love it. I hope you feel this. I feel, I feel this. And I really wanted to make sure that uh, you're going to get something that you didn't see before, hopefully. And also that you will get something for A4 size journal pages, for small journal pages, for ATCs as well, something, something, for the tiny. And each flower is really different, unique. There is rarely something that I uh, doubled it. If, if there was something I totally loved or or like here you have similar that they are nice to be repeated but mostly they or here the, the the daisies but mostly the elements are unique on each page uh, oh I love this one so much such a gorgeous colors I also wanted to say that oh I love it I also wanted to say that I decided to go for one side print because I know so many of you have been mentioning this in general that you don't like the choice you don't want to be forced to to choose so I thought you know what let's jump in for the one side print only so we have a very delicate pastelish uh, mm, mm, side pages I love that I have to say I love that huge it's big tulip but it's such a beautiful focal point imagine you just put the happy birthday somewhere here a little bit of a bow and you have a beautiful card or maybe uh, maybe for a card this one is too big but if you say hope or something journal page then you can have this for a card imagine this this like I think these are not only for journaling but it's really for uh, card making as well I hope for canvases I really focused as well on making sure that these flowers are exactly as I would have need them <laughs> and I thought if I need them this way uh, maybe others as well I 
I think I'm gonna jump in for butterflies as the second. Wait, how about that? Oh, oh. Uh, the first page is actually the same and the second is the same. Oh, that's a weird print now that I see. Lucas, show me your copy. Please, the butterflies. Because my one is... My one is... Print out... My one is cut, cut out weirdly. Yeah, take this one. Um, obviously, my, my copy is uh, outer copy, so they were one of the first prints. Oh, daisies, this is unreal. I just adore it. I thought to have one or two huge butterflies so you can actually use it on a canvas. Shadow box, 3D shadow box. Like, I wanted to give a chance for everyone to find something what they need. I love it. Oh, I love that. It's so different to see them live than see them. To see them in no to see them in person than see them on the computer actually. The choice of butterflies like <laughs> that's massive. Oh my it feels so surreal to watch it, you know. Oh I also really wanted for those books to have the vintage feel, vintage touch, so they will be like, um, I don't know how to explain, but they would work well with your vintage brownish beige color schemes, that they would be amazing for junk journaling, that was my intention. This one is also huge, isn't it? And this one is big. But yet you have a choice of big one, but you still get the perfect size for... Where is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. One second. You have a perfect size for for the for this uh, size of a journal. You know, all of these are perfect for your focal points for small journal pages. Because that was my intention. Oh, I hope everyone will find something in them for themselves, and also the smaller one, much smaller, because uh, because of the ATC is possible as well, or small journal pages too. Oh wow, we! I love it. Wow. Wow. Wow, let's see the fairies next. I don't know which is your favorite. I wonder. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Oh, how cute are those? Oh, they are so adorable. Oh my. They're so cute. That's the same. I should say, I should mention, same for the butterflies, same for the fairies. Like the amount of repeated designs is very small, very little. Usually, mostly, it would be, uh, it would be uh, the fact that it's not repeated, that everything is unique. Uh, same for the girls. If they are repeated, they would be in a much different size. <laughs> Look at the cuties, like, they would be in different size repeated. Oh, I love this. I so love this. I think the biggest problem will be to which to choose. I love how mixed media it feels as well. That they will be so beautiful on some junk journaling mixed media projects. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Am I too fast? Sorry. I'm just too, ex too excited to see what's next. They're just too cute, all of them, seriously. And the smaller one as well. So many tiny ones. Oh. Unbelievable. The feeling of seeing this is just un unreal. No, I think I went too fast, am I? 
sorry. I remember so many of you, I'm sorry that I'm so quiet, but I'm so, this, I don't know, in disbelief. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, so many times I've heard that, that there's no fairy papers, and I agreed, I have none nearly. And I just thought, at last, that's the choice of fairies, that <laughs> I hope everyone will find something for themselves. I love it. Oh my. Each nicer than the previous one and you don't know which one to go for. Oh wow. -y. I'm so happy. I don't know if I, my makeup <laughs> is still on. And this one, the Chronicle, the Vintage Chronicles and Botanica, these are with the background. So basically you have the backgrounds and you have uh, much many more, much many more, many more pages. <gasps> oh wow. This is beyond beautiful. You know, choosing it placing it everything like what could be beautiful with each other together like deciding it's a different sort of feeling when you're really uh, deciding of what could what would you love it's just such a different to what I may love and seeing this eventually oh now the idea for this book is that you can use the whole backgrounds as it is and I've tried as much as I could keep elements to be doable for focal points as well. So you have a chance to actually play with them as a focal point only if you rather fussy cut that or have it as a full page. So decision is yours. So that's why some of the elements are uh, naturally cut out because that was the intention, you know, that they are just there because it's a part of the background. So uh, like I knew it that you know this part because you can still I wanted this to be big you can still use it on the side page so uh, if you think that some of them are cut out or something uh, it should be it should be full page and all and it's perfect because that was the intention I think this is such a gorgeous beautiful book I think I didn't expect this book to turn out this gorgeous honestly I love that the print is full on but I know that a friend of mine received her book and the print was moved and it wasn't too full on which it's no difference but I it should be full on print to each side you know that was the intentions I just love it so much intentions for the A4 size at least I just love them. I love the idea that you can really use it as it is um, and have the backgrounds as well. If you even decide to fussy cut the elements, you can still keep the backgrounds and have that. I love it. One second. I think I flipped too fast. I also wanted to make sure that you will get all sorts of colors, you know, that you will really feel that you have a choice, like their choice is there. You ca like I can imagine. I think my first idea for a project is uh, it's going to be uh, collage and tiles. I think this book for collage and tiles, imagine it would be crazy beautiful like I just adore it and honestly one thing is that mm, you will see in a minute I included the same pages in half size because I thought wait a minute maybe there are people that really would prefer this to be big yes for some projects but also would love to have it in a smaller version so you will see it in a second I love it I, the colors are spectacular wow wow I think my favorite is this one. <laughs> it's it's turning to be my favorite surprisingly because I think it's just phenomenal. I, uh, I honestly think it looks way nicer than in my computer. Wow. Wow. I can't stop wowing. Like look at it. <sighs> 
it is so gorgeous I love the idea that you have a lot of images that you have um, mixed that the background is picking through that was also the intention to keep or here to keep that mixed media ish feel that some of the elements are picking through and I love that I love that mix I think it just like here look you have the music notes I love it gives this extra sometimes it's not sometimes it's completely blank out but sometimes elements are uh, on top or under there or something like here I love that there is this uh, design with the flower as well unreal and the purple one wow like each page is so gorgeous do you know what as well I honestly think it's gonna be maybe not the most modest is it to say about myself about my own books but I really would love you to feel that every page is workable, that there, every page has something to offer beautiful, that you will find something gorgeous on every page or the whole page, like every element will be something you love, totally. And that was my intention, that you will feel that the value in those books is there because if you will look for a focal point, a flower, a butterfly or something, you open the books and it's there. And you will find it there are choices of colors sizes and it's there like it's like ultimate it's there <laughs> that's how I feel because this is exactly what I was missing all these years thinking that why there isn't a book that it's like with everything with like a choice that I will look into it and it's there <laughs> oh I'm not fan of yellow you know but I included yellow <laughs> And now this part is where the half pages are coming. So you have the same <clears throat> the same design. Oh, where is it? This one and the first one. So these two, right, are here. So this one and this one are here, half sized, and same for the rest. I think it's a fabulous idea because it's giving you way, way more elements to work with. It's giving you a chance to have a smaller size as well. And you p probably could use both uh, um, sizes on one project. So let's say you would like to have a, a page with this beautiful focal point, but behind it, you would like this one and this one as well. Or, you know, like you could work together big page with a small page if you know what I mean so I think that's very handy and you have each of those pages coming in the uh, in the A5 size the half of that size oh it's unreal beautiful I just love it I didn't want to lose out the shape and sizing of the images I didn't want to drag them or stretch them or anything so that's why they are uh, not finishing at the actual edges because that was my I knew it, it that was my intention it's just exactly in the middle and you have the design in the middle here as well because the pages I I had to move it move it around somehow so I had to shrink it somehow but I didn't want to lose out the designs and I didn't want them to to be different sort of um, different um, how to say like I didn't want to make them longer or fatter or something so they would change the real original shape um, I mean there is so much to choose from that I really hope you're gonna sit down at your desks and you will be like gobsmacked and you'll be like what to use next what will I use next what's like I really hope that I really do now the last two pages are quarters only two pages uh, are quarters but there you go you have the idea for even much smaller sizes there we go that's it I honestly I'm pretty much speechless it's such a it's such an amazing feeling it's such an amazing uh, energy to actually see them live to now I just want to say as well that vintage chronicles it's because they are more vintage with the vintage background so if you will next time wondering about the difference between the names when you have collectina collectina it's more like a collection of focal points because that was the idea where you have them on the white surface right so it's easy to fossic out and the idea is for the elements to be there on the white background per se and then then you have these where you have the backgrounds and the build of the book is a little bit different the build of the pages is a little different um, so I think this is how I decided to, to, to divide it 
between the Vintage Chronicles and Collectana. Maybe there will be something more. I, I can tell you honestly, I do work on new books. Uh, that's only if you will be loving them, if you will be encouraging me and giving me ideas what to create next. My goal for 2024 was to make a book for Amazon. I'm so happy that it happened. I'm so proud of uh, myself and thank you so much, my beautiful friends. If not for you who watch my videos, who wish for elements, who wish to follow what I'm doing, if not for you, that I just wouldn't have a chance to, to to even think about it to make it so thank you honestly so very much for making this possible oh look they are so gorgeous oh I didn't show you the backs look I think the backs are as beautiful as the front covers look oh to making actually to making my my covers on the back was so important to me as well so yeah there you have it I mean, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I just so love them. I think I, I'm surprised how Vintage Botanica is gorgeous. Like, I knew the rest will be beautiful, but the Botanica somehow made me think that this is actually beyond of my expectations, to be honest. I just love it so very much. I wonder which is your favorite, which is your absolute favorite book my friends tell me and if we could have a conversation in the comments i would love to hear what would you like to see which book should i use first which should i use first which should i uh, start cutting and what project will we do our journaling which we do will we do collage and tiles yes and of course the links to everything uh, is in the description box and also i wanted to say that uh, they are available on Amazon all over the world so finally I can uh, not personally ship but they're shipping to UK which in the last two years I think we couldn't ship from our store this one this is why as well the decision was made to do it uh, through Amazon and also I wanted to say that I think the fact that I don't have to ship it because Amazon does it for me it makes it so much easier and hopefully I will be able to make more videos that's the bottom line so honestly that's what I'm thinking. Thank you so very much. I'm so excited. Ah, there you go. They're so gorgeous. So let me know, my friends, which is your, which is your favorite. Hard to choose, right? <laughs> and yeah, I would love to hear what do you think. Honestly, <sighs> at last I can breathe because I was so nervous. I was so nervous. Only oh, yes, one more thing. When you see vol one, means that there will probably. I just put it just in case, probably there will be vol 2 of these, so watch the space. Um, yeah, I'm working on, yeah, I can't, no, I won't tell you, I won't spoil, but watch, subscribe to my channel if you wish to not miss anything. And also, in two weeks time, we're going to do a live class where we will do collaging with these books for sure. I'm going to give you the link once I have the class set up. And also I wanted to say that we will give away 10 memberships as every month. So free memberships for 10 people. So it's good to jump in. So subscribe please to my channel. It will mean the world. And when you subscribe, subscribing you can also choose what you wish to receive what kind of notifications and you could say all of them so that you will be notified about the posts I post or about the videos or about live streams like that so that would be quite amazing I have to say so thank you so much and also um, if I could ask you to comment that would make this triple awesome because more people will hear about the books that I think amazing college book so thank you so much as always I can't stop talking because the excitement is just too much there is already tons of you who purchased the books and you share the info in cafe our Facebook group and you have been sharing on your social media so thank you so much thank you so much for everyone who who purchased the books who encouraged me to keep going but also thank you to those who commenting sharing videos like that it's equally important as purchasing the book. It is supporting the artist, the crafter, any sort of way like that. So thank you in advance everyone so much for and also for being with me for the last 12 years I think. That's a lot, you know. It's been a journey, right? <laughs> okay, I better go. Thank you. Happy crafting, happy collaging and I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now. Bye bye. Mm. Yeah, I better start cutting. No, editing this video.